my my life's fucked you know like i can't yeah you, you know just what's, what's despair. yeah complete despair what's yeah. the point of anything i can't focus i can't yeah. learn i can't socialize because i can't yeah. sleep uh, so hello and welcome back to the outering tinnitus podcast this is frida and i'm your host and this podcast is all about the tinnitus science and how you can learn to live your absolute best life despite tinnitus and this version is now a remaster, so I did actually create a new version of this podcast episode. Uh, first of all, I um, re removed, of course, this annoying high-pitched uh, ringing sound that many of you were complaining a little bit about. My original thought was that... Um, I could make it uh, recognizable and uh, teach people what tinnitus is and what it sounds like. But I heard that a lot of people who have tinnitus and are dealing with difficulties of hearing uh, do not appreciate a high pitch ringing tone in their ear when listening to a tinnitus podcast. So excuse me and sorry for that. So here goes the remaster. If you ever need any help or support, then read my um, tinnitus guide, my free guide to tinnitus at www.tinnitus-guide.com. But today we want to get into to an episode that I recorded with my good friend Jonathan in the SoundCloud studios in Berlin. So without further ado, let's go into the uh, intro without the loud peeping sound and actually get started with the episode where Jonathan and I talk about combined uh, uh, decades of tinnitus experience. Um, Jonathan is a fantastic guy, worked uh, for SoundCloud at the time, so we were able to take their studios and equipment. So I hope you enjoy the episode and I hear you very soon. Hello and welcome to the Outering Tinnitus podcast. This is Frida and I'm your host. This podcast is all about the tinnitus science and what you can do to live a better life despite the ringing. This episode is brought to you by MyTinnitus.club. MyTinnitus.club is your special online habituation community, a community of many, many people who together learn to live their absolute best life by tinnitus. You learn science-based tools and tips and tricks and strategies on how to live tinnitus behind, uh, live your best life, really reclaim everything that's most important to you. And you do that in a community of amazing people with the help of my coaching programs that has helped over hundreds of people all over the world. So go to www.mytinnitus.club to claim your 14 days free trial. Join one of the frequent events that we have every single week and see how my science-based coaching program will help you to live your best life despite tinnitus. All right. Um, great. I'm super excited to be here today. Um, a great opportunity to be here today with my um, good friend, Jonathan. Um, who have met quite a while ago, but we'll get into how we met each other in, in, in a bit. And today, uh, Jonathan is coming on to the Outering Tinnitus podcast to talk about his own story with tinnitus. And um, yeah, I hope that uh, Jonathan, and I think Jonathan will also be on more often in the future in our podcast. And oh. um, yeah, hopefully. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Finally, we're doing this. Uh, we get to... Uh, Talk about our mutual experiences and uh, try and help uh, other people who have tinnitus as well. Yeah. So sh shall we start by saying how we met? Yeah, yeah. Why why we connected? Yeah. Uh, Do you want to start? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so <laughs> it was a very long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, actually at a other startup here in Berlin, winter party. Uh, you were still working there at the at that point, right? Uh, no, I think I had just had left the just, company. Just left, yeah. Yeah. And I happened to be there as well because uh, my girlfriend was uh, is still working there, yeah. actually. So winter party, we met, and then I was talking to someone, and I don't know why we started talking about tinnitus. And It was Tim, right? I, I, I think it was Tim. Maybe, maybe yeah. Tim. And then he was like, oh, you have tinnitus too? He grabbed me and he was like, follow me, you need to meet someone. Meet Frida. Meet Frida. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was a story. Yeah. yeah. And so um, he took me to you. And I think like we immediately uh, connected, um, started asking you some questions. And then you started telling me about your story. I started telling um, you about my story. And this was maybe what, a year ago now, a little bit more. 
and since the beginning we've kind of wanted to um make something together so i yeah. guess this is it yeah this is it yeah. um yeah you told me that i remember that you still that you already told me that you had planned or that you were in the process of writing your article which in the meantime you have published on my blog as well yeah um which well all of you who are listening to this right now can also access and read yeah um, um yeah and uh, i think from the first moment where we met we sort of like had this feeling which is crazy because um, I talked about it in the last episode with uh, Dr. Silvano Gallos about it, the professor who does the epidemiological research on tinnitus. It's 75 million people in Europe who suffer from tinnitus and 3% of them in a severe way. And it's so weird that the two of us get to connect over something so common, mm -hmm. yet it's so intense in our lives mm -hmm. and it has been like, it, it's had a big effect in our lives, right? Yeah. And like we meet and we instantly connect yeah. about this this is about such a common phenomenon i i was really surprised to learn that number when i listened to um the previous episode because that's basically the population of france right right like the entire population of france um has tinnitus yeah uh, that's that's a crazy number yeah and yet uh in my in my experience i have n not met many people who suffer from tinnitus in a severe way so i don't know if these numbers encompass um it's only people who like it's it's everyone who suffers from tinnitus. Yeah, yeah. So even someone who says they hear a, a okay. like super silent okay. ringing somehow, yeah, yeah. So that's um, why. Yeah. they also suffer from tinnitus technically. Gotcha. So yeah. it's three percent of these seventy five million suffer from severe, severe. cases. Okay, gotcha. so that's uh, that's about uh, two million people. Yeah. Wow, that was which, quick, which that is still was quite maths. a lot. Did you, did you actually? Do no, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's, it's an approximation. It's, okay. it's just no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not so. I, I just said like ten percent, and then three percent of the ten percent, so a okay. third of the ten percent. I was quite impressed about your math right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's 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 apparently a lot of people that that suffer from this, and yet you know I've had tinnitus for uh, what it, 16, 17 years now. Wow. Seventeen years, I think. Um, and. Yeah, I've never, you know, you hear the occasional, yeah, I suffer from tinnitus as well. Like, oh, yeah, so, like, does it ruin your life or has it ruined your life? Yeah. Like, um, no, not, not really. really. So it, there's only, I think, yeah. Yeah, as you said, maybe 3% of, of people uh, who are like me and you and have or still suffer from it, unfortunately. Um, I think the interesting part of my story is that I've kind of learned to not be affected by it. And although I was severely affected by it at yeah. um, various stages in my life. So obviously when it first arrived um, as a kid, I was, I don't know, around 10 to 13 years old. Um, so that first kind of when it when it suddenly, you know, comes and nobody around you knows that tinnitus is even a thing, yeah. you know, not yeah. even yeah. Uh, parents or, or yeah. the doctors you see. They're like, oh, it'll yeah. it'll go away. Try yeah. this, try that. It might be water in your ears, you know, mm. because you went to the pool, whatever. Anyway, so that first kind of peak of of um, of um, of holy shit, you know, this is this is a thing now. This is it. But then it died down for for progressively, like the the next ten years, and maybe like five, six, seven years ago, if I was barely noticing it again. But then, because of something work related, a lot of stress, and then I kind of suffered from. A burnout or a, a, a nervous uh, breakdown and then it revived uh, the tinnitus again but to yeah. an even more um, severe degree yeah. so not it, it was like reliving what I had already lived as a child but even worse because mm. I kind of already knew that it was never going away mm. and that there's not much well, like there's no cure right there's, there's no you can do there's no it. vaccine there's no button yeah. there's no like i can yeah. just like vaccine myself right. in the leg and then right. go away right but so th that's the the negative part of it but the positive part of of having had a tinnitus 2.0 is that it allowed me to learn how to deal how to manage how to cope with it but also how to control it and that's the very important bit um um, that I learned is like I actually have some control over my tinnitus and that may be for people who are suffering from it or who just recently uh, started suffering from it might be an important key thing to understand is that you do have control over it like, maybe maybe like maybe not not so much over your tinnitus maybe because you can't influence the tinnitus absolutely. but you have a definite control over how you react to it how you respond to it how you choose to organize your life around this 
the symptom that is so annoying to you. Yeah. And what I was going to say is that like you suffered from it from a very, very early age. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And that's something that's quite unique in my opinion, mm -hmm. because I mean, most people like for me, it was, well, going to the clubs too much, not protecting my hearing, yeah. already being yeah. deaf on one ear yeah. and then too much exposure on the other ear. Yeah. And then, well, things started to be like that. But yeah. I think for a lot of people and I mean, there is it is it is three percent um, who suffer severely. But the problem in this is, is like a lot of other people who um, suffer from it in these 75 million, they are subjective. They can become tinnitus sufferers because there's only a few drops in that equation that need to fill the cup, as I was um, uh, explaining before in another episode as well, that like there's only a teeny tiny amount of things that need to go wrong. Mm -hmm. And then tinnitus can be this decisive factor for you suffering from burnout, mm -hmm. sleeping issues, mm -hmm. depression and all these kind of things as well. So we need a holistic way on approaching this. Yeah. So actually what you said is true. Like the more um, it's, it's not about controlling tinnitus itself, but controlling the how it impacts you right. but there is also a small factor of controlling the tinnitus itself for example mm. uh like i even when i have a, a, a one beer i can hear my tinnitus uh um louder oh yeah so yeah wow. so if if um yeah if i know that i'm really tired i'm really exhausted i have an early morning the next morning I'm going to maybe like not drink a beer because I know that it's going to increase uh, the level of my tinnitus and it's going to impact my sleep and all that. So there's there's a little bit of that. There's like this um, uh, more granular control over your tinnitus. Maybe right. not everyone is able to 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 notice it or to notice uh, these changes, these fluctuations. But I certainly do. But yeah, as you said, it's true. Like the more important way, of course, is to learn uh, to know that you can control how it impacts you for sure. So, I mean, you know, both you and I and probably everyone else uh, listening to this has been online, has uh, been to doctors, has spoken to people. And most of the time what you hear is, oh, just try and relax. Right. Right. Which is basically making people much more anxious and like, because like, how can I relax <clears throat> with the sound in my head? Exactly. Like, just try and relax. Oh, sure. Okay, cool. Easy. Right. Um, no, it's, it's, you need to be proactive in this. You need to do your right. research. You need to find the things that work for you. You need right. to experiment. That's how right. I went about it. Uh, experimenting with, uh, with, with gadgets, with, uh, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say chemicals, but like, you know, I tried CBD, for example, and that didn't help the tinnitus, but it certainly helped the, um, the stress, the anxiety. So that also effectively has an impact on right. your, on your tinnitus. Um, yeah. And I, you know, started uh, doing martial arts and, uh, well, started, r restarted. And that also works because, you know, it, it, it gets all that stress and tension out of your body and, mm. and, and helps just be more like healthy and exhausted and ready for sleep at night and all that. Yeah. So yeah, it's learn, learn what works for you. Um, sure. Like just relax is kind of the end goal like it is about being more relaxed uh but you're not going to achieve that just by someone telling you no. just relax no, for sure. so you need to you need to try things you need yeah. to see what works for you especially because tinnitus is such a uh subjective thing right so individual it's very particular like yeah. your tinnitus is completely different than, than mine than for example everyone i wanted knows. to say when you when you talked about <clears throat> the beer thing is like yeah. for me i start relaxing more when i have a beer so subjectively <laughs> my tinnitus goes down Okay. Because I feel more relaxed. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, by nature, I think a quite stressed person, and yeah. for me, it's very difficult to s surrender control yeah. and to, to relax. Mm -hmm. So I think part of my tinnitus is, is that I'm always like, Tense. you know, I'm someone who's clinching at night my jaw. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I wear a teeth protection, a, a grinding protection thingy because I'm grinding my teeth at night. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm always quite a like, you know, I'm, a, I'm a stressed and like, yeah. active person and things like that. So when I drink a beer, yeah. I subjectively feel that my tinnitus is lowered. Okay. And and that's 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 the part. Yeah, but but, the but this is a great thing yeah. where, that we talk about this and that we see like you know it's such an individual condition and you need to take responsibility for your life mm -hmm. and you need to see what works for you. Exactly. And I'm not drinking a beer every night and just in order to have my tinnitus uh, lowered, <laughs> you know, because I I certainly like live with the tinnitus as as it is right now because mm -hmm. I I feel fine with it and 
I, I don't use alcohol in order to calm me down. You know, I use, for example, valerian if I can't sleep. I, I use some valerian pills. Mm -hmm. They're uh, completely natural, and that helps me a lot. But as you say, like everyone needs to find their own different path. Yeah. But I think people like us mm -hmm. are also here to, you know, help people who are new to newer to this and who have, have who don't have the experience and in, 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 in how they could deal with mm -hmm. it that they can reach out to us mm -hmm. and that they're able to like ask us for help and and we could direct them into looking for what really helps them individually. Absolutely. Um, so if, if we're if we're throwing tips out there already um, for because I think sleep is is what impacts um, many people, many people yeah. and especially uh, yeah. people who are new to to having tinnitus. Um, yeah. And one thing that helped me a lot is to have just a um a simple like speaker on my on my bedside table that plays uh rain sounds and that i mean it's it's silly but it, it really helps like oh, it really sure. helps and you might think well how does you know replacing uh your tinnitus with another sound help I don't know. That, again, like give it a try. May, it might not work for you. From for me, it works beautifully. Or different frequencies, uh, or, or different sounds. Exactly, or different frequencies. Yeah. Uh, maybe like uh, the crackling of a of a bonfire yeah. might be more more. Uh, or white noise, or brown noise, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. G give it a try. Yeah. Um, if we're still on the on the technolog technological uh, side of things here, um, another thing I really enjoy using now is is uh, bone conduction headphones. Mm. Um, so. Just to give a, a brief uh, explanation, it's like headphones, but instead of going into your ear, they go like in front. Right. So the sound is transmitted through your your, yeah. your cheekbones and all that. That's great. And you don't have the dangers of hearing loss, right? Exactly. So it That's it awesome. kind of um, it's less impactful for your hearing, and also a great thing. Well, two great things about it. One is that so it doesn't block your ears, so you're compl you're still completely aware of your surroundings. Yeah. You can. You can use them. I, I use them at work. I use them at home. Um, I use them at work, like, you know, listening to music. And if, you know, a colleague is like, hey, Jonathan, I can just, you know, look at them. And still even I don't even need to pause yeah. the music or the yeah. rain that I'm listening yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a lot of rain, by the way. Uh, I love it. I love rain as well. Yeah. Um, so people make a lot of money on Spotify through me, like always hitting that repeat button <laughs> that on those repeat rain sounds. On the rain. Um, so, yeah, bone conduction headphones. It keeps your ears open. Uh, you can you can keep a you know awareness of your surroundings, um, and also because it doesn't plug your ears, your tinnitus isn't like the only thing you're hearing, right? Because that's that's a problem I have with conventional headphones is that by by design you're covering you're you're plugging drowning your ears. out the noise you're drowning out the noise, yeah. and therefore the only thing you're hearing is the tinnitus. Yeah. And then you're going to try and compete with that by yeah. by blasting the music yeah. loud. Yeah. So it's like it's it's a vicious circle, right? Uh, and that's why I think bone conduction uh, headphones are are a good solution. Like I wear them at home. If if you know yeah. it's very quiet where I live, yeah. uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know. Yet. <laughs> uh, but it's very. That quiet, is amazing. Yeah. Right. That that's a, that's just sort of the stuff that we have to think about the people who suffer from tinnitus, right? Like yeah. I would. I'm telling you right now, I would. In future, if I would ever find a space to build a house, mm. either by the seaside yes. or somewhere like directly next to a river, yes, you know where you can always hear the water. Always. I love flowing water; yeah. it's so amazing. Yeah. And one thing that I wanted to add to the bone conduction headphones is mm. that, and that was in the episode with Silvano Gallos as well, mm -hmm. that hearing loss is still the biggest factor and the biggest contributor for people suffering from tinnitus. Yeah. So yeah. everyone who's listening here, Protect. if you are in the subway or anywhere else if you use normal headphones don't crank up the volume exactly. in order to to uh, to to drown out, to, to, out, to, to out, out sound how would you say that yeah yeah yeah. i'm also trying to find the, the right explanation for that i think like, it's uh, technically called masking right to mask yeah to mask, to, to mask the outside noise because you're, yeah. you're going to decibel volumes yeah. that are very unhealthy for your yeah. for your hearing very unhealthy for your hearing and you can avoid that by using bone production headphones, for example. So they're, they're, yeah. they're really a great, great thing. Or yeah, exactly. I, I use noise canceling headphones with like a very mm -hmm. low volume most of the time. So that also mm -hmm. uh, works quite well. And but I, I'm definitely open to, to try in future. You have to show me yours again, actually, because yeah. I'll, I'm very I'll... into into trying those as well. Yeah, absolutely. I might have them here, actually. Ah, we can awesome. uh, give them a spin later. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, th those are my little t technology uh, helpers. Um, helpers that, yeah. that I use. Yeah. 
that. And then, I, I mean, ever since the, I'm just going to call it with air quotes, the burnout. I don't know why I'm air quoting it because it was, it was a burnout. Anyway, uh, since, since then. We don't I've, like to admit that. That's, yeah, right? Sorry, it's, sorry that I interrupt you there. But like, I also had my share of yeah. those moments in the, in the, in the time when I, when I was leaving my comp, the last company I yeah, worked yeah. for before starting this um, a, a tinnitus business mm -hmm. um, um, but I, I, you're right like I also don't like to say that but because I always like ah, you know like people talk about burnout and I think maybe the term is used too loosely these too loosely, days yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is definitely something about a modern society that people suffer from this and you are allowed to call it burnout because you probably really weren't well at that time yeah I absolutely either. I think the, the reason why I'm, I'm, I uh, went with the air quotes is because Like, I, I feel there's a lot of people who are in worse situations. Uh, so in relative yeah. terms, you know, like, yeah. you're like, why Understand. should I be able? But I mean, that's yeah. an entirely different uh, um, yeah. uh, subject. Uh, so, but yeah, since then, I've been drinking a lot of, um, a lot of tea, a lot of uh, sleeping tea, as they call it here mm. in Germany. Um, like Nerventee. Schlaf und Nerventee. Schlaf und Nerventee. Yeah. There's a lot, there's, there's good stuff around here. It is here very good on, stuff. Yeah. For some reason, Germans are, are very much about the, the about these like quite, uh, yeah. medicinal teas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. If you Herb go to tea. the drugstore, you can find these like for everything. Amazing, for, for cold, amazing for medicinal teas yeah, for yeah. relaxing yourself. Yeah. And I'm not gonna uh, brand uh, name name drop some brands because I can't remember them, but otherwise I would. Uh, but there's some good herbal teas, and then actually, you know, like again for sleeping. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, I believe, when when tinnitus is is the most annoying, yeah. as, for me at least. For most of the people, you're definitely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For most people. Yeah, yeah. because I mean, that's when that's when you're you, supposed you mean, to be quiet when you're well, when you want to be quiet. That's where we usually exactly yeah. like this is a perception that we all have yeah. is that when we sleep, it's supposed to be quiet. It's supposed to be quiet. But if you think about it, like a few hundred years ago, we used to sleep with like. You know, in yeah, farmer houses with yeah, like other animals and in, in other like uh, rooms of the, the or departments of the houses, so to say. And, yeah, and there was and, no like, double glazing was, back then. <laughs> no, man. Like it was, it was like, yeah. there, and you would still sleep, you know, because yeah. I mean, your body produces the melatonin in the exactly. evening, and in the morning you have to get up early in order mm -hmm. to like do your work mm -hmm. and you sleep, mm -hmm. right? Even though there's noise. Yeah. Um, and that is something that we have adopted in our modern society that we think that it's necessary to have complete silence for sleeping. But people with tinnitus, if you just ask your partner mm -hmm. or um, uh, uh, the, the person you're sharing a bed with mm -hmm. or a room with, mm -hmm. um, whether it is okay whether you use that masking sound because it's really annoying to you, yeah. I'm sure they'll understand. Yeah. And the, bo the two of you can get used to the, the masking sounds that can be quite comforting and nice. Yeah, and they'll likely not even hear it. Like, oh. for example, mine is like right next to my, oh, yeah? uh, right next to my head. Mm. Like it's super low, but low enough to just barely, you know, mask the, the tinnitus. Nice. And my partner doesn't even, uh, she doesn't hear anything. So. Nice. Yeah. I sometimes, when I when I can't sleep in the morning, when I wake up too, too early, Yeah. I, uh, I uh, put my phone di directly under my pillow. Mm -hmm. And I put the rain sound on repeat. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I just let it play. Yeah, I just let it play directly under my pillow. Yeah, um, and like also very low, so my my wife can't hear it. Mm -hmm. um, and it just continues to play and play and play, and eventually I'll fall asleep again. Yeah, if yeah. if I didn't have this uh, little rain machine, as I call it, I would I would experiment with some pillow. Um, speakers yeah. <laughs> or some some something. Oh, like it that. works. Why not? Like I put it in airplane mode, so the phone's in airplane yeah. mode. It won't dis disturb me or anything. Yeah. Do not disturb. Plus mm -hmm. airplane mode mm -hmm. is the best combination. And then mm -hmm. you just hit that repeat button on some some rain sounds or something like that, and yeah. and and there you are. So yeah, it's all about uh, you know rehabituating your your body and mind to to the noise. I mean, it's there. It's likely not gonna go away. Um, I mean, in, in some cases, uh, if you're as unlucky as uh, Frida and myself, it's probably yeah. not going to go away. Yeah. So it's like, you know, there's no, there's no, I mean, I've been there. We've probably both been there. Uh, like, again, this may sound like I just relax and it is, but like find your, your, your ways of, and, of relaxing, experiment, try and, things out. And like, it's, yeah, go for it. Sorry. 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 No, 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 no. You, you. Uh, like, I didn't want to interrupt you. Sorry. Yeah. Like really try to understand your tinnitus uh try to um yeah give, give it a listen actually yeah. just listen to it see what yeah what what uh, when it it becomes higher listen to your bodies see when it becomes higher when it goes lower if if um like s simple things such as herbal tea like 
allows you to calm down and, and focus a little bit more. And then one step at a one tiny step at a time, uh, you know, down, you know, after, I don't know, weeks, months, years, life will be normal again. Yeah. If not, even better, because you'll have learned about yourself and, and, and stress and coping mechanisms and, coping mechanisms. and developing them. Exactly. And feeling yourself that you are in charge of your life yeah. and that if you can master this, you can master <coughs> other things in the same way. Exactly. And what I wanted to say, and sorry, I didn't want to, wanted to interrupt you, but I, I, what I get from you and, and what I'm always saying as well is like, this is a process. And like for many processes in life, there is no shortcut. There is no mm. six pack abs shortcut in two weeks, <laughs> lose 35 kilos of body fat and oh stuff man, like that. I That's wish. impossible. You know? Yeah, yeah, you I know, we, we all wish, but like it's, it's not, <clears throat> it's just not possible. But, and it's okay like that. Otherwise, life wouldn't be worth living. You know, mm -hmm. if we could get everything at a time, what would life be? You know, yeah. it's boring. Yeah. If you're a billionaire and you can have pretty much anything, what do you do? You look for bigger challenges. Look at Bill Gates. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, he yeah. did great and amazing and big stuff when he was young. Mm -hmm. And now what he's focusing on is like the big challenge of making the world and society better for everyone else. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing. And so small by small, we all have our individual challenges that we need to overcome. Yeah. And tinnitus is one of these challenges. And we need to have the understanding that in time it's going to be all right and we have to like take take our responsibility look for the ways of dealing with it and going forward and then finding our ways of strategies of dealing with tinnitus and that's why we make this podcast that's why we sit here and talk about it yeah. because there are some shortcuts there are some things that you can do because you can talk to people who have been there and then maybe you don't spend two three four years to get into a situation where you feel better already, but you do the whole process a bit quicker. And that's why- and That's why we're here. We're yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I, li I like this uh, idea of, yeah, we're, we're, we're short, we're giving tips uh, to <laughs> giving shortcuts. It's in its shortcuts. Tinnitus, sh tinnitus shortcuts. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's entirely it. Like if someone had told me, you know, when I first got tinnitus at the age of, I don't know, right. 10 to 13, someone had told me, listen, this uh, is probably not going away, buddy. Like, yeah. um, but don't, <clears throat> don't be afraid. Like, don't, yeah. don't focus too much on yeah. it. Like carry on, try this, try that. Yeah. Um, don't just stay at home and, 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 uh, feel sorry for yourself. Just go on with your life. Um, you know, I mean, maybe at, 13 it would have been weird to like uh have me drinking herbal teas and and and, and stuff like that mm. but you know like try stuff out like it's fine you'll be fine yeah you'll be fine you'll you'll become stronger yeah. even yeah um so yeah and especially so not only when i was a kid but like the more recent uh burnout and subsequent doubling or tripling in volume yeah. of of my of my tinnitus yeah. if someone would have told me like okay like you're gonna fucking have to listen to your your stress levels now um and up to that point i had no idea about feeling stressed like sure you know you're in high school you have a, an exam you're you're feeling tense but after that i feel like in in a in, let's say normal professional environment everyday work thing you don't yeah. you don't feel stress even if you 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 have some stress you don't understand it you don't see it you don't feel it right. you don't and having this, having had this burnout and then having to deal with the tinnitus and everything, like I learned how to listen to my body, to that listen is. to my stress levels, yeah. to understand what I have to do. And, and when I feel like, okay, like this is going too far, like my tinnitus is like super loud. Yeah. Mm. Like I need, I need to, I know that I need take to a, take a, take a, uh, take a, take a breather, take a step back. And, and yeah, so it's, it's been quite a, um, how do you say it? Educating uh, yeah. experience. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think very that's, powerful. Yeah, very powerful one. Yeah. 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 I think this is like, yeah, as I say, like very powerful and very interesting for for all those people out there who maybe are still in the process, like maybe already have been in the process for a few years, and who maybe got stuck at a certain point. But mm -hmm. um, it's always worth like you don't have to fight, but you also don't have to give up. So like a medium path in between that you feel like you're in charge and that you feel like you're looking for your, um, for your thing in the world, for your place in the world. And, and maybe we're lucky that this happens early to us. Mm -hmm. Maybe if this had happened with like 45 and the life would be settled and we would be like, 
you know, in, in sort of like a midlife thingy and, and then suddenly tinnitus happens and then maybe everything changes so much that we couldn't be, that we wouldn't be able to deal with it in this way, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It can happen. Yeah. But even then, you have the tools and the opportunities and the ways to, to, to go forward. But I'm actually, I'm happy that I get to do this at an earlier stage of my life mm -hmm. because then I think that the challenges or at least I hope, right? Like I, I can't foresee the future, but <laughs> I hope that the challenges in the future will be a bit easier for me to deal with yeah. having dealt with tinnitus before now. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's, uh, yeah, just, it's made us back in the episode in just a short moment i just wanted to share with you something that dawn uh, one of our tinnitus club members talked about recently she shares uh, her insights into tinnitus habituation and what the community has been doing for her and of course we'd be super honored to welcome you into our community as well but let's give uh, dawn the word i think um i've had it for about same as you 15 16 years and i have habituated to it three times in the past Uh, but this last time, um, I was just floored with it. I just didn't know how to deal with it. And uh, then I found this place and it's taught me n no end. Um, how I was dealing with it was wrong. You know, it's taught me not to react to it. Um, and like you said, it's nice knowing because I think it's a very isolated disease. Um because you're the only one that can hear it, your family can't. So you're you you're only you're the only one that knows what you're going through. Uh, but when you come to somewhere like this, it just it it's it makes it easier because you know that you're not on your own. And it's just probably been the best thing. I've been in the best place now in this last two years than I I have been for like I say in the last few years. I'm I'm just it's amazing what it's done for me. So if you're experiencing something that's similar to what Dawn is going through, then you know absolutely where to go and where to look and where to turn to. Um, we'd be super excited to welcome you in our MyTinnitus.club community. So if you head over to www.MyTinnitus.club, you can sign up for your 14 days free trial, um, join one of our members events, introduce yourself to our other members. We are currently getting a buddy system going so that people who are already way on their path to habituation can support and help other people who are newer in the community so if this is something that you want to uh, get into and you want to live your best life despite tinnitus then sign up for your free trial at www.mytinnitus.club but let's get back into the episode stronger prepared for uh, greater challenges for sure yeah um yeah um i think i haven't mentioned this at the start and i'm uh, Super happy that we uh, get to be here in the SoundCloud studios today. I think um, I'm not sure whether we, we should or should not mention that. Um, we can cut we that can, out as well. We can we can mention it. It's If fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But, uh, all good. Yeah, this, um, yeah. Thanks very much uh, for organizing this already. Thank um, you. I'm I'm really happy to to have shared some uh, tinnitus shortcuts. Yeah, maybe we talk a bit more about um, the channels and uh, what's to come. Maybe what we. Um, what we intend to do in future or what we intend to 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 have in in, in, in pedo for people who who are looking for help um which is uh, your article as well that you wrote where basically there's uh, a lot of stuff summarized that we were talking about today yeah I, and there's um basically what i just what i just said i kind of uh, wrote it in a in a put it all in a in a story in an article a yeah. story uh, on this It's platform very called, nicely written. Called, called medium yeah Uh, I think the article is called "Don't Think of a Pink Elephant." Yes, um, I chose that that uh, title because I think it summarizes quite nicely the experience that most people have with tinnitus. Yeah. Is like, uh, oh, d just relax. Don't 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 yes. don't think about that thing that is ringing loudly in your in your in your head. You yeah. know, between your ears. Um, so yeah, it's and you especially focus on it. When yeah, and uh, yeah, and when when someone says, yeah. "Don't think of a pink elephant," what are yeah. you thinking about? A pink, pink elephant. elephant. There yeah. you go. Actually, I'm thinking of one right now. Yeah, exactly. Me too. Um, so yeah, there's uh, this article that I think can be helpful. It gives um, some 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 tips and shares my my story, my experience. I hope it helps anyone who reads it. Um, and what else? Yeah, uh, I mean. Um, in future, there's uh, some new videos, some uh, more podcast episode coming out, and um, I'm very happy Jonathan is uh, is involved with this as well now because um, he's helping me a lot with especially being more professional in my 
in my audio so you guys get to get a uh, better quality on, and sound hopefully of uh, the tinnitus podcast um i believe this is the time for you to mention your uh, your coaching sessions yeah because not as well. yeah not not uh for those of you who don't know uh, mr frida here is also he's he's flipped the table of a normal uh life and he wants to he is a a tinnitus coach actually yeah He wants That's to true. be the best tinnitus coach out there, and I really hope he succeeds. So let's say I'm I'm new to tinnitus. Yeah. How do I find you? Well, let's say I'm I'm freaking out. I'm yeah, like, yeah, oh my sure. god, you know, um, uh, doctors are not helping. Right. Nobody nobody around me right. knows how to help me. Yeah. I'm just gonna go online. How do I find uh, you? Well, hopefully, um, <clears throat> you're not getting stuck with all the misinformation that's out there at mm. first. And that this is first and foremost, it's it's uh, important to mention that like most people, um, uh, they Google for tinnitus and then they find very dubious things and then they try out a lot. And every single time something doesn't work, yeah. it gets worse. Yeah, because and you feel like oh, it only work doesn't work for me because yeah, there's yeah. so many amazing comments on yeah. um, how good this stuff works for tinnitus, but yeah. it hasn't worked for me. And it's very depressing also, I right. feel like, all the stuff that's out there. Because it comes from a place of despair, uh, usually. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's not it's not all that bad. No, no. It's not all that bad. It gets better. No. And hopefully, and uh, this is my intention, and, and <clears throat> why I also interview scientists now, because I genuinely want to only promote things that are... Um, that are proven and that are scientifically valid. And while there is no cure, for example, there's a very good evidence that a cognitive behavioral therapy in combination with my own experience with tinnitus and me knowing a lot of uh, strategies and meeting people like you, talking a lot to people who have suffered from, from tinnitus for a long time, that gives me the repertoire to be able to share with you and to look together with you for your own individual strategy of Uh, beating tinnitus and living a better life despite the tinnitus and hopefully you can find me through all that noise that's out there mm -hmm. so the first thing that i would suggest to you is um hopefully my uh, website comes up in, on uh, google when you google uh, tinnitus or tinnitus help and um, the website is outdrinktinnitus.com and the same goes for youtube and uh, the podcast that is hosted here in soundcloud um thanks for that again jonathan as well <laughs> Um, and yeah, and the first step that we would do is that I offer you a 45 uh, minute free coaching session that you can book directly on my website. There is an easy booking tool that lets you select the time slot that you would like to choose. And then we uh, get to speak in person. And um, then I'm very sure that like one of my coaching programs will suit you, um, not only to advance with your tinnitus, but also financially. Um, I am uh, starting to give tinnitus seminars here in Berlin as well. Um, so if you uh, want to participate uh, right here in Germany in one of my tinnitus seminars, then I encourage you to book um, the slots that are still open. Um, and it's also on my website. You can have a look at that. Um, yeah, so this is how I'm trying to, this is my small contribution to trying to make um, the world a bit of a better place and helping people who suffer from uh, tinnitus. I think it's a pretty big contribution actually, because uh, again, Like we both know the the despair of of having tinnitus and of uh, the people who have it, and the lack of 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 help, the lack of uh, of a cure, and then finding someone uh, like you online who's dedicating their entire lives to helping people with this. I think it's a pretty big contribution, not a small one. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to help you on that on that way. And it's <laughs> it's it's great to have people who are. Um, yeah, in on the same, been on the same journey for such a long time, and like to connect over, over something that is so so negative. But um, yeah, again, it it is it is a bit difficult um, to sort of outring all the noise yeah. as a tinnitus <laughs> well, coach uh, <laughs> on uh, on the internet that there is on tinnitus. Yeah. And um, but I'm I'm genuinely giving my best, and I'm I, I would mm. like to thank you again for um, yeah for being being here supporting me in this as well and to spending some of your Saturday afternoon with me inside <laughs> although it's uh, one of the beautiful, first beautiful, beautiful days day in outside. Berlin here yeah, yeah. and it has been like very bad weather for the last let's say two or three months I think yeah for sure um, and yeah let's go and enjoy it in a couple of, in a few minutes yeah. Uh, but yeah I'd like to say I when I was a kid I would have I would have um, certainly enjoyed um, having someone like you help me through the, me through too. the process that's why i'm doing sure. it yeah me too there you go that's exactly the thing like okay. i would have i would have <laughs> i would have given anything i was i was in points of my life where i was like 
I don't know what to do anymore. And I had to do this all by myself. Mm -hmm. Why isn't there someone else? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, society doesn't owe anything to me, yeah. but like, why is there not someone yeah. in a condition that is so yeah, yeah. widespread? Yeah. Why is there not someone? Crazy, like, huh? It's, it's very, it's like, it, it was something that I couldn't understand. So yeah. it was like, it came relatively naturally to me to like uh, go this step now. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm positive that um, it will be successful in future as well. And I, I really hope that I can continue contributing in this way. Awesome. There you go. Meet, meet this man, meet Frida Kühne. Uh, <laughs> talk to him and he'll probably, probably help you with your tennis. All awesome. right, um, Jonathan, um, I hope that you can be on the Outring Tinters podcast soon again. Let's do it. And uh, continue to be involved and we uh, uh, look about um, how we can create uh, super awesome content for the people out there who suffer from tinnitus and share latest strategies and tips and tricks. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a, like, again, absolute real big, big, big pleasure. And I would like you to Same have here. the final words on this, epi on this episode today. <laughs> so the I'm final going to, words. to shut my mouth now and... Um, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave a big, big, big thank you. Oh, thank you. It was it was it was my pleasure as well. And um, uh, oh, you've left me with a heavy burden of, of final words. What are my final words? I think my final words is if drinking a beer makes your tinnitus louder, it's OK. It'll be fine. Keep drinking beers. Life will go on. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much for tuning into this week's episode of the Outring Tinnitus podcast. Um, again, my big, big, big pleasure to keep these podcast episodes coming. Um, we have a lot of podcast episodes coming up in future. Um, I'm very, very excited about having all these guests out of the scientific community and people that I've been working with. Uh, I just wanted to leave you with a final uh, uh, little uh, request. Um, it would be amazing if you could give us a positive five-star rating on your podcast platform of choice so that this podcast gets recommended to more and more people with tinnitus. It is something that we're super passionate about, providing for absolutely free, making these podcast episodes and bringing out content for people with tinnitus. So if you want to reward that, then give us a positive review, leave us five stars, and if you want to dive deeper into everything I do, then the next step would be to download my absolute free guide to tinnitus at www.tinnitus-guide.com and you can really start learning how I apply science-based principles in my tinnitus coaching programs, in my community, in my one-on-one -on -one coachings, and you will also get tons of resources in order to really start in the best way possible. I wish you... All the best and from Berlin to wherever you might be listening to in the world, I hear you in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you very much for listening to the Outring Tinnitus podcast. I am looking forward to also welcome you on my website at outringtinnitus.com or if you have any questions, please mail to frida at outringtinnitus.com. See you next time.